All right, let's talk. Wuthering Waves 1.3. I think that 1.3 is going to be an absolute banger. Full disclosure. The trailer had a lot of stuff, mostly her, which I love. But I mean, even just the area is really cool. Dude, the visuals, the color palette, everything. It's so good. Humans dream to fulfill their desires. For a long time, I believed such dreams were not meant for me, as I had never yearned for anything. Diminish. Yo, God, she looks so good. It, get, it gets bad. I've seen this like four times now. Full disclosure. Oh. It's fine. She's here. Not her. Her. It's chill. Wow. Now, nah, obviously I love Shorekeeper. She's got major black swan vibes. We love that. Uh, her, I'm not picking up. I'm keeping the bug. Uh, I will be interested to like try her out to see what the um, what the quick time event in her ult kind of feels like. Because I think that's an interesting mechanic. I'm glad they're at least trying that. Now that I'm like a four star? I think. That thing looks so sick. Dude, the new boss echo? Hell yeah. Uh huh. The lament. Yup. The only thing I'm lamenting is that I can't play this right now. <laughs> uh, all right. So resonators. Don't care about her. Her, however, yes, heavily. Uh, I feel like Kuro really, really loves Shorekeeper. Like a lot. Like an unusual amount. Uh, which I'm fine with, because I also love her an unusual amount, and that's fine. A lot of people probably do. It, it's normal. <laughs> um, but dude, just the environment and everything that she's introduced to is so good. Uh, and if you go back and you watch the release trailer for Weathering Waves, uh, and I did a video on this a little while ago, there's this butterfly that goes through like the entire events of what I'm assuming is going to be the overarc of the one point story, right? Uh, so everything involving up to 2.0, I feel like is, is going to be tied back to Shorekeeper somehow. And I love that. Like I said, her quick time event stuff and her alt will be interesting. I'm going to have to get this. Straight up. I'm going to just have to get that. I have like three star rectifier web. Like it's not good. I'm in a bad way. <laughs> when it comes to those. Like my Yinlin is crying on the daily about how underwhelming she feels without her signature weapon. Bro, it's called the fallacy of no return. How badass is that? I'll answer for you. So badass. I love this thing. This thing looks dope. Uh, we did, which I did watch the whole thing. 
uh, and I unlisted it and put it in the live stream archives. If you guys want to check that out, I'll link it below. Um, but this looks so sick. And, like, the actual effect of it is also really sick. So, I love it. I love it a lot. I'm going to use this day dot. Mm-hmm. That's so sick. Oh my god. It looks so cool. And I love a big, big weapon. Big hammer, axe, sword, whatever. Don't matter. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> that was just like 12 seconds straight of attacking, man. That's crazy. That's tight. Bro, you can't tell me that's not sick. Hold up. Run that back. We're just throwing punches. Oh, it's so cool. I hate this thing. Not as much as the Liger, but still one of my least favorite enemies. We're getting portals and new puzzles. Very cool. I love that. This I have a gripe with. This I have a gripe with. My issue here, uh, there are technically 10 free pulls, right? Five of which go to the limited character banner. Five of which go to the standard character or weapon banner. And then none for the limited weapon banner. So, there's three currencies, two of which are represented, one of which is only going to get you her. None will get you her weapon. So, really, it's like five pulls, if I'm being honest. Uh, if I'm nitpicking. I know free is free, but... But look, you can't come at me in the year 2024 uh, when Honkai Star Rail has kind of set the bar for, like... Uh, login rewards and stuff. I look, nobody touches Kuro in terms of compensation. Literally. Kuro Games is beyond generous with their compensation of stuff that really isn't even like that big a deal sometimes. Right? They go above and beyond. No one's gonna argue that. However, this? That's rough. We need to fix that. I don't care about standard stuff anymore. Let me obtain that over the course of a year. I don't care. I need limited things. I would honestly, I would replace these with uh, weapon pulls. Limited weapon pulls. That's what I would do. Me personally. They do not see it the same way. So. Sag. Uh, we're getting a new story event for her. Don't care about that. This I mess with heavily. Hello. We love this. I love this a lot. This is great promo art. I love the aesthetic. I love the color choice. Everything about it is so good. Incredible. The Black Shores is going to be a really dope place to investigate. We'll take a look at that here in a second. Um, this... I think is going to be a co-op situation. If I'm not mistaken. They mentioned something in the the, uh, the, 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 the live stream that was like a round-robin co-op event. And I think it's this. I could be wrong, though. It might not be. I'm not sure. Anyway, it that part looked cool. If that's what it is. I'm just not sure. Parkour event. Tight. Sorry, this is not Elusive Realms. I was just thinking about Elusive Realms. But, oh, this must be this must be the co-op event that does Round Robin. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's this. Anyway, that looks cool. I'm down for that. That. This is fine. It is what it is. Also looks cool. A 
lot of events, a lot of diversity in those events. All good stuff, man. Bro, go pick him up. What are you doing? It's crazy. I'm not looking forward to this. Dude, I I hate the Inferno Rider. Again, still not as much as the Liger, but I really dislike the Inferno Rider, like a, a fair amount. Very cool, man. Very cool. And then we also had a preview here uh, of just, I think, I think this is the world one. Yeah. Just drink this in, man. Just drink it in. I love this. This is where, yeah. I I originally like once we intro once we got introduced to like the the snow place, the snow island with like the hot springs and stuff. And of course, Chang Li was there. I that was by far my favorite place. I think this, the shores. I think this is going to be my favorite location in Wuthering Waves forever. I don't think they're gonna top it for me. I wish my office looked like that. <laughs> Imagine? Imagine, though. Inject it straight into my veins. I love that a lot. Let me know if you guys are hyped for 1.3. I know I am. Uh, I see nothing but good things. Literally nothing but good things. I also lost my mind uh, when they showed the, the Shorekeeper uh, 1 7th scale that is dropping soon, evidently. Oh, wait, what? My queen? My other queen? Dude, I actually really like that she gets a buff with Rover. Welcome home. Oh my god. Yo, this looks... Gorgeous. I'm I'm gonna get this. Yeah. Oh, so good. Alright, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.